All right, we back at it. Homegrown Radio, Chuck Dizzle, DJ Head, the ruler, Draco, man. Right. What's going on, bro? Appreciate you tapping in with us. Yeah, I'm just chilling, man. You got the new project out, you know what I'm saying? Streets yeah. going crazy as always, man. How does it feel, first and foremost? I know you get asked this a lot, man. How does it feel to be home? How does it feel to, to be releasing the music and, and just turning shit up as always? I don't know. It's cool. It ain't like what I thought it was going to be. I mean, I can't do nothing. So it's like, we just going, making music, buying clothes, jewelry, for nothing, really. Um, Ryan, it ain't nothing to do. It's cool, though, making the music, though, being able yeah. to make the music, but. Hey, you think you would be spending your money different if you could move around? Like, if we can go outside and, like... For sure. For sure. What would you be doing sure. different? Like, what, how would you be doing it different? Nah, I'd probably have been blowing way more money. I don't know. Doing other stuff. Like, you can't spend all your money, man. It's, it's probably a good thing <laughs> niggas is locked down right now to, to, to kind of keep you from doing that shit. Yeah, maybe. I mean, shit, I saved a lot of money in jail. So, yeah. doing nothing. All right. Hey, speaking of which, I wanted to tell you uh, when I got a chance to talk to you personally that I saw a lot of people reaching out while you was in there about they was reaching out to me to bring awareness to your case and all yeah. that kind of shit. And I just want you to know that that shit didn't go unnoticed. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I know you had a lot of advocates that was that yeah. was out here. I mean, soldiers too, like really pressing your line like, hey, we need to bring some awareness to this case. This shit ain't right. It's fucked yeah, up. All that thing. Good. So um, first and foremost, congratulations on that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You had uh, Jeff Weiss is one of the ones really back. Oh, yeah, for sure. Love, yeah. man. Uh, I definitely want to say I know. That. That's my boy. I got to get him a chain or something. <laughs> he said I got to get him a chain. Yeah. Hey, so um, I wanted to I wanted to talk to you about, like, when you first, when you first, obviously when you came home, like you said, you it's not what you thought it would be. Well, it's not what you thought it would have been. What were yeah. you expecting? I don't know, like, because I went to jail before this COVID stuff came. So all this, like, the mask stuff and all that, everything, like, being closed and not being able to go nowhere, like, I wasn't used to that. I didn't think it was really going to be like that. So it was kind of, like, weird. Then, like, all the... Instagram stuff and all the stuff, all the cloud chasing stuff. Like it was like that before, but it wasn't as bad as it is now. Like it's just everything is different now. Like a lot of know. weird shit going on. But my People homies that up snitches, all type of stuff, just stuff I my, don't even know. My homies that was that was um that you know that's down right now said that they had COVID like protocols and shit like that. Did they not have that where you was at? Like did they not have the COVID nineteen protocols and shit? Neither I know. No. If somebody got caught COVID, all they're going to do is quarantine the whole tier and then you're just going to be stuck there for two weeks. And then magically everything is going to be fine and they're going to open it back up again. I don't know. Where's Jelly at? Because uh. mm -mm. I saw a lot of footage. Did you ever see the footage of the of the, of the uh, the inmates like sending videos from their from they burners? Like, you know, the homies is fucked up in here. We got COVID. They, did you ever see any of that shit? Because we was, I was getting seen a lot of that. That's probably in prison or something, though. There wasn't gotcha. too many. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, so, so when, when, when you obviously you get out, man, are going going straight to the studio, man. Is is your protocol different in terms of like creating music? Was was it, is it the same as it was prior, or is it different now that 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 you're home and kind of like is is the routine different when it comes to like making music now? It's different now because I I didn't wrote so many songs in jail and stuff. Like I could just do it like that now. I don't even write nothing no more. I didn't did so many songs. Like I just checked. I I looked this uh, I had like 220 songs I did already. I don't know. Like 220? Yeah. You know that's just not regular, right? Yeah. I've been told that. <laughs> but I I saw you said you recorded over 200 songs in prison and, and, and while you was in jail too though. Yeah and that's none of the songs I did in jail. I just I leave all that I leave that shit at the house. I'm gonna bring it out. So if I had dumb songs, I only probably did like the whole, like we know the, the truth tape. That was the only songs I used from the jail. Like I still got a bunch of songs that I need to go back and start bringing that out again. But yeah, I was how'd testing you, it out. <laughs> how'd you narrow it down from the 200 plus songs to, to what made it on the, on the tape? Cause really it was like the ones that I wrote on the tape 
was like the ones that I just wrote like two weeks before I got out. So those are the ones that was already like stuck in my head. So it was kind of easy for me to do them songs. But it's still some other songs I need to do. I just gotta find them. So, so the other songs you don't use, what, what, what happens with those? Are those things that you plan to possibly release later on? You oh yeah, I'm still use them. Okay. I just haven't used them yet. The only reason why I ask is it's like sometimes yeah. when people go through that process, they're like, oh nigga, I, I'm done with it. It's a lost thought. I ain't fucking with them ever again. I, I'm not going to. Oh, no, 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 no. Them songs are hard. I got it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> he said nah. nothing goes to waste. Yeah, them songs are hard. I got to. Nah, I'm using them for sure. But I'm, I'm curious to know, was your recording process the same before you went to jail? Because you, I remember you said, um, I forgot who you was talking to, but you said that you wrote 200 plus songs while you was in jail, came out, got the beats for them, and then laid the songs. Have you always written songs that way or did you always write to the beat? Before oh, no, nah, no, nah, I always like, just listen to the beat and then just go off for that. It was different. Like, and then, because it's songs that I didn't wrote like, songs to beats and then it's like I hear a different beat and it's like nah I'm gonna put it on this one. You know, it sound better. So yeah. When I got out, like a lot of them songs I wrote to different beats, but I just got out and changed them. Now you you got a song on a project. This was the engineer, is the engineer scared <laughs> oh, yeah. or engineer? Yo, that yeah. shit is hilarious than a motherfucker. Now I wanna know was that some shit that, that was happened? A true story. Real, just just tell that, the truth. That was yeah, but I want to know, was it in real time? Was it about the actual engineer that was engineering that session or was it about another engineer? That oh, no, 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 it wasn't my engineer. It was like okay. a, like one of them engineers that be at like them big studios that's not used to that, that just think they know what's going <laughs> on. And, oh, I've been doing this for years and I get paid four dollars an hour and all that type of shit. Like, nigga, I don't care who you recorded. I want my music sounding a certain way, bro. You know, I'm finna just be adding stuff and all that. <laughs> Check that out. Wait, right. was that engineer in the session while you were recording that? Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, I was yeah, like, yo, that'd really be cold. cold. That's that why I was like, this nigga yeah. really recording this shit. Uh, 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 hey, on the song, so if we're gonna talk about music right now, on the song Chrome Hearts, I'm gonna read you something and I want you to yeah. dive into it, okay? Uh -huh. You see my interviews, I ain't no role model. Uh huh. Now, I remember I popped in on your Instagram live like a week yeah. ago or something like that. Yeah. And you was going up about yeah. people being on your ass about setting a good yeah. example and all that. And yeah. you was like, look, if you want some of that shit, go somewhere else. That ain't me. Yeah. And so yeah. when I'm listening to the album <laughs> and you on Chrome Hearts, you straight up said, look, you yeah. see my interviews, I ain't no role model. Like you yeah. telling people yeah. what it is. Where does, yeah. does that come from? Why does that like, why you feel like that? Is that because people press you or is that because yeah, like people be like wanting me to do like certain stuff and be telling me like stuff and I'm like, bro, like I'm not no gospel singer, bro. Like, what do y'all expect <laughs> from me, bro? Like, like I don't I don't know. People, even when I was in jail, I told people constantly, like, I hope y'all don't think that I'm finna just get out and just be on some revolutionary shit and rapping about no, bro. Like I'm the same person, bro. I just it's certain things I don't do no more. But other than that. The music is the same. Cause if I got out doing that, then they'll be like, oh yeah, we want the old Draco and all that. I ain't got time for that. Nah. Do you think do you think that um some artists don't are like feel the same way you feel, but run away from it because of the pressure? Yeah. They let people pressure them up. You know, some people don't have they they don't got no voice, they don't got no mind of their own. They let other people think for them. Uh, that's why they end up going broke. But yeah. Yeah, I remember, I remember uh, right around the time of the election, um, the district the attorney, I, I low key forgot her name. Yeah, are uh, you talking about Lacey? Yeah. yeah. Literally the day, because there was a lot of people advocating for her to get up out of there, right? And mm -hmm. literally the day after that happened, the news broke that you was coming home. Yeah, it's uh, crazy, right? huh? So that crazy. That, that's wild, right? So obviously if people don't know the story as far as like the, the influence that she had, you know, while you, you know, just the, the whole backstory behind that bullshit, right? Yeah. Does that make you now want to, or see the importance of people going out and actually voting the, the whole process uh, yeah. behind that shit? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I've been telling, I was posting this shit. I was telling my friends to go vote for him. I, like at the end of the day, even I, even I was posting it like, he ain't gonna be perfect because he's still a, a prosecutor at the end of the day, but. Right. You know, even even all my all the lawyers, all the public defenders, they all was like, 
he's ten times better than her, no matter what. Like, and so I, I knew though. Like, she she was it was her office. Shit, that was just pressing me so hard. To, I'm like, dang, bro, like, I never seen nothing like this before. Like, I literally beat damn near every single charge. I got two hung chuck counts, and even the hung counts was in my favor, and it didn't even make no sense. It's like I beat the murder, the conspiracy, five attempted murders. Then you saying like, how can you shoot from a motor vehicle? What are you shooting at? How can and then the other gang charge that I had is like, how do you benefit from a crime that you was acquitted of? It don't make no sense. But a lot of people don't know about these laws, so they try to abuse it with me. It's mm -hmm. crazy. So you can't go to trial twice for the same thing just to let people know. Yeah, double jeopardy. Do you yeah. feel like? Do you feel like in your in your case specifically, they try to make an example out of you? Oh yeah, for sure. And then if something would have went bad, they would have used it on everybody else, all the people that ain't got no money, all everybody cousins, and then everybody would have been like, oh, you can't do that. Then they would have tried, they were just trying to make me case law. I know what they was doing. Why, why do you think there was a, a certain pinpoint on you specifically? You know, they don't they don't like to see stuff like that. They don't like to see people like, you know, coming out from the hood or, you know, especially people that they know trying to do something positive. It's like, it's either you want me to be out here like really doing it or you want me to be rapping about it and not doing it. You can't like, I don't know, maybe these people are crazy. And then it's kind of easy for them to do it because it's like, oh, if you've been in jail before, if you hang around people who've been in jail, then it's easy to try to make you like a bad person. Like, oh, oh yeah, well, he's saying this, he's been in jail for this, look at his videos, he's a murderer. You know, I'm like, you can't say somebody's a murderer and all this because they got a, caught a burglary charge before, bro. Like, that doesn't make you a killer. Okay, you caught a gun charge before. That doesn't make you a killer. Like, they, but in the court, people think it's like, oh, yeah, you can't do that or that's ridiculous. And it's like, yeah, but it's all white people on the jury. And check them on, like, old people that don't listen or don't really, they're not too fond of rap music. Right. So it's kind of easy to convince them, like, oh, well, you know, he did have a gun right here. And, they just be trying to they 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 just try to assassinate your character. If you if they could get the jury to convince them that you're a bad enough person, then they'll believe anything about you. Come on, tilt, up a tilt, the, tilt so the phone see. up a little bit so we can see. There you go. Um, when it comes to when it comes to like the like you said the uh like the like the fighting the the cases and shit in the court and all that kind of shit. I think that and I want you to tell me what you think too. But I think that hip hop is always singled out. Because I yeah, heard, sure. I be hearing crazy lyrics in, in rock music, crazy shit in yeah, Corridos music, crazy shit in country. People and, alive, all type of stuff, bro. Yeah. Come on, bro. What is it, Johnny? Yeah, casual, man. I didn't hear all type of music, like, for real, bro. But, you know, it I, is I what think, it is. I think that's why there's a certain, you know, I know you, you don't necessarily like people to, to view you as a role model, but I think that there is a certain responsibility for you to kind of let people be in on that like that's why you got to vote that's why you got to educate yourself about the system whether you want to be on the front line and on it or not like i think whether it be interviews or you talking on live or whatever you know people i guess hold you accountable for that and i know they probably shouldn't to that that extent but they do mm -hmm. listen to you and hear what you got to say like people actually pull it up and vote it for gas yeah. on based off of you know you i know people that literally voted just mm -hmm. because of your situation yeah so yeah. it's like your, your words and your situation do you know they impact people yeah, in a good way. Huh? I I remember. Uh, let me think. What time? I don't remember what what time frame that was, but um, I remember you saying. I heard you say actually on on Kev's podcast that uh, doing the the the, the RJ and the Greedo battle was your idea. You told Greedo to do that. Oh yeah, for sure. Because I told him you ain't gonna it ain't gonna go nowhere, bro. You might as well just make some money off of this, bro. Because this ain't gonna go nowhere, but. My people doing police stuff, so y'all might as well just make some money out of it and don't take this no farther than what it is, bro. All right, look what happened with me. All right. right, when that whole thing happened, I'm I'm not gonna lie to you, dog. I got on the I got on the air, bro, and I was so mad. I aired out everybody, all the press, all the news, mm -hmm. all, all your little, all the popular blogs. I aired them all out because. That concert, they did two shows. They went one at the Observatory and then one at the Novo. And that yeah. shit didn't get no press. Nobody yeah. talked about it. 
Like nobody. Yeah, just people with phones that had it on, on, on YouTube. It was just people on phones, yeah. but it was no, like all these blogs that be talking all this shit, like talking shit about your case, talking shit about yeah. what Greedo got going on. Nobody reported that they did two full shows sold out and nothing happened. Yeah. And so I was up here airing them out because when that whole thing went down, I just felt like everybody wants to report the negativity within the culture, but nobody yeah. wants to report the good shit. Yeah, as I'd be. Do you when 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 you was talking to Greedo about doing it, um what did you did you intend for it to be as big as it was, or did you did you like did you have an idea how big it was gonna be? No, nah, I didn't think that it was gonna be like that. I just told him to make just make some money off it, but I ain't know it was gonna be like how they said it. Didn't they do the Nokia or something? Yeah, it's the Novo downtown. Yeah. Damn, man. Now, now, obviously, your name comes up as far as one of the front line runners in this LA hip hop scene, man. What, what are your thoughts on, you know, the scene currently? Uh, prior to you going in, what, 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 how are you observing everything? The people that were coming out and all that, while um, throughout this last couple of years. I mean, I was kind of happy though, because it's more young people. So, you know, like like I always say, nobody helped me out. It was always older people. They. Ain't, they ain't do nothing for us, so I was kind of happy. It's just more young people that starting to come up now. Like I was happy. I ain't got no nothing bad to say. I was just like, you know, why did it take for me to go to jail or all this for people to get noticed? When y'all been could have put people on. It's people that's in a position to put people on and didn't do it. So yep. you know, right? But these are the people that don't like me though. So. Mm. <laughs> Hey, let me ask you this, since you, you, you said that twice already. Why, what would, if you had to pick three reasons why people don't like Draco, what would those three reasons be? Uh, let me see. Cause I got my own voice. Cause they don't want me taking a fans, which is with everybody else. And they just, I don't know. They, they see something in me that they couldn't see in themselves when it was my age. All it right. seems like you roll that shit off their back half the time, though, man. I mean, it seems like it, it never like, seemed oh, like you tripping. It, it, it don't phase you at all. I don't be. That's why. That's what be making them so mad because I just <laughs> laugh about everything. And all I'm gonna do is go make a song, so, and everybody gonna be seen, and you are gonna be mad. Mm -hmm. So I just don't even take that. I don't take it serious. Everything is a joke to us. Like we, even when we was in court, everything was funny. Like it wasn't funny, but it was like, come on, bro. Like, nah, you tripping? Oh, no, that, that, don't say that. that. It's, it was funny, like, bro. Like, don't say that. You you was fighting the death penalty, bro. Yeah, I was. And, and no, I'm not saying that was funny. I'm saying it was funny that none of these rappers, no matter what, I was fighting the death penalty. None of them felt. I, None of them posted my case. None of them said nothing about me besides the ones that I actually talked to, OGZ, One Take J, people like that. Everybody yeah. else that was intimidated of me getting out and all that, you all seen it because none of them posted me when I got out either. <laughs> none of them. So <clears throat> it is what it is, though. But <laughs> I'm the one with the song with Drake, though. I'm the one that come on, bro. Like, it is what it is. People know the real. It got to the point where people from out of town tell me that they want to do songs with me so much because they wondering why people don't like me. <laughs> they love they love it though. <laughs> they like, yeah, that's, that's crazy. Everybody else from the outside watching, like they just haters, bro. They just mad because they not doing what you're doing. I'm like, I've been in jail three years. Like, what, what's everybody else's excuse, bro? Like, nobody, but what is their excuse? I've been out two months, bro. So you can't tell me that y'all didn't have enough time to do whatever y'all had to do, bro. It's a lot of people being quiet since I've been out of jail too. I ain't seen nobody dropping no music. <laughs> but, but that's all the people that don't like me. Yeah. Right. Do you, yeah. I remember <laughs> just this energy, it's like a common energy, but it reminds me of the same energy when uh when 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 Suge went and got Pac out of jail mm -hmm. and he got he got out of jail and he just became like, he was just turned to like, can't nobody fuck with what I'm doing. I'm like, you know, ain't nobody dropping no mute. Like the same, the same kind of energy that you kind of have with this. Do you think, do you think that, I mean, I, I wouldn't say that most, most of your shit is negative though, uh, Draco. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even yeah. tell you. That. I would tell you the truth. I, I know we don't know each other like that, but I would tell you the truth. I would tell you yeah. like, if it was all negative, you get a lot, you have a lot of support as well. Like a lot, a lot of people. people. Oh yeah, a lot of people, yeah, a lot of people do, you know, but the people that, you know, 
I didn't. That is crazy. Like people be like, instead, what I don't understand about like the West Coast and all this is just people out here that they like they would rather try to like press the button and block somebody than just let them get they shine. Like if it's not your time, it's not your time. If somebody passed you, then it wasn't meant for you right now. Like okay, look at Tiger. He came back and shit. He was doing the like. Come on, bro. Like it, it ain't your time. It ain't your time, bro. Like. But instead, they want to like, oh, this person's not finna do this, or he not finna be taking my fans, or he like people don't like. I don't understand people. I'm just trying to change that. Like, it's it's crazy. Oh. Speak. I'm glad you said that because I remember talking to um, I talked to Wack about you, right? And yeah. he, and he and he fucks with you. He loves yeah. he loves what you're doing right now. And he and he was talking so highly about you because he was like. I love the energy of that young nigga. He got out of jail. He popping. He got and he using his platform and he going around doing songs with everybody. Like you, you not tripping. Like you, like hey, come on. Like whoever want a song, come on. Let's do. Let's let's work. Whoever fuck whoever fucking with you, you fucking with them, right? Pretty much. And so I feel like you are doing that work though. You are doing yeah. your part to change things. Yeah, but it's just like it should have been like that. It shouldn't take for me, and it's just like it's crazy because. I'm like, why? Well, I'm the only person that's really doing that like that. Like y'all don't like, and y'all y'all don't like me though. Like ain't nobody else doing it, bro. Like, like I'm still like, it's people that I still try to reach out to, and it's just like I'm not doing that no more for certain people. I didn't try to reach out to people, and people let their homies punk them from doing songs with me and all type of stuff. It is what it is, but I'm gonna try to help out as many people as I can before they burn their bridges. Cause you can't help everybody, but I'm what about try. what about are you what about people who have burnt the bridge with you? Are you willing to sit down and have a conversation as to where they was coming from, and then you know come to an understanding? I mean, I don't beef with nobody. The only no, person I'm not, I'm not saying beef. I'm not saying beef. The only person people that person I did have like a misunderstanding with was RJ, and we cool now. So yeah, no, I love. I love, I heard, I heard when that was going down when y'all was speaking and I, I love yeah. that. And I told him, I told him, I told him personally that I'm proud of him for, for being, for stepping up and, and, and owning, you know, his part in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's crazy because <laughs> the people that don't like me, now they mad at him for trying to be cool. With me. Mm -hmm. I don't understand this. Like, what do y'all want, bro? Like, y'all want everybody to be beefing? Like, uh, I'm not beefing with nobody because I'm the one that had to go through it. I'm the one that had to sit in jail while they come up with this narrative of like they just that's crazy. I'm I ain't I don't wanna be for nobody. That's I feel crazy. you. Did you always know at some point that that, that all right man, the the that you would be coming home, or was it something in the back of your mind like, yo, man, this is a this is a big ass battle, this is a big ass uphill battle. Oh, yeah, no, nah, it was a big battle. I mean, I thought I was gonna go home when they said all that at court so the first time. Then they just came back. They just did me dirty. Like they, they waited. They didn't tell my lawyer nothing. They came on the 60th day and was like, "Yeah, you know what? We're gonna refile those two hunt counts." My lawyers, they just kept telling me, "There's no way." I talked to every lawyer. I talked to any D. There's no way they're gonna file no hunt counts with ten to two. No, there's no way. There's no way. And then they did it. <laughs> so the moment you find out, like, okay, I'm. I'm actually getting out. What kind of paint the picture for us? What, what, what were you doing? That did you actually believe it? And like, what, was there a part of you like, man, nah, this is some bullshit? No, nah, I didn't believe it. I mean, I thought they was gonna do something like, you know, get the conviction and then walk me up to the door and walk me right back in. Like, yeah, you know what? Now nah, you got to fight this, buddy. <laughs> hey, you, you talk about adjustments too, man. What, what, what do you feel like has been the biggest adjustment? Um, since you've been, I know you talked about social media and kind of like this shit is just weird, but yeah. you also utilize that to to to, to your benefit as far as just turning yeah. up. So yeah. talk about talk about that adjustment because to be honest, man, social media changes every three fuck three to six months anyway. Yeah, you know what I'm sure. saying? So the shit that was the same when you first got out is not the same now. So talk about that yeah. adjustment process. I don't know. I mean, like it's a lot of it's just a lot of stuff. Like I I didn't know people like just be screen recording so much stuff like it's ridiculous like <laughs> probably about 50 videos of me on youtube right now every single live every time i i could be doing nothing they want to put it on youtube they're just I'm like oh man i gotta stop being honest like that man I don't know. are you are you more conscious of the things that you say because you know that the people are doing that now 
Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. Sometimes I'll be I'll be slipping out, man, but I'll be more I like, saw a couple of those clips and slip up clips. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had to delete them. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm trying to lie. I'm I'm straight on that. Um, I feel what, you. What's um, worse? A, a leaked conversation or a leaked song? You said what? What's what's worse? A, a leaked conversation or a, a song that let's just say, well yeah, a leaked conversation or a leaked song. A conversation. I think so too. <laughs> yeah. Um the now song you... is like whatever, like yeah, hey, get over where or whatever, like you know, you could it, there's ways to block certain things. <laughs> a conversation is like, oh, this is what you was talking about, and this is what type of person you are. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Hell no. Yeah, nah. Um, the conversation gonna be there forever. <laughs> speaking of, the, I want uh, the the music that you've been doing since you've been out. You've been doing, you've been getting in with everybody in the studio, and yeah. I love the fact that you went and did the song with uh, Drummer Boy, Young Drummer Boy. Yeah, yeah. And to me, that's just dope because you know, like you was you was locked up, so you know the you know the black and brown shit real heavy. Yeah. And so for you to come right home and jump and do a song with him, I felt like that was more than just music, bro. I felt like that was a statement. Am I am I wrong? Yeah, I got I've been doing all type of stuff. I actually did like I did a song with JD and he make like that Gordito music, like like real Paisa music. So I I've been trying to like you know do everything like I ain't gonna lie. But yeah. Is this somebody that you want to tap in with? That you 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 get get to do that? Maybe some bucket list shit. Well, shit, mm. he got the fucking record. I know, I know. He got, <laughs> he got, he got the joint, but yeah. uh, no, I'm I'm fucking with you. Go ahead, who else? Yeah, but not, I don't know. It's a lot of people. Like I don't know, but I already been talking to all the people that I've been thinking of doing songs or I wanted to do songs with, or they already hit me already. Like so, the only other person that I could think of that you could possibly do a song with is Drake, and I got that. So right, but, right. Unless it's like Justin Bieber, Ed Sheeran, Twenty One Pilots. Okay, okay, like yeah, you know. yeah. Put that out there. What, what, what do you think? I would biggest... pay money right now to see you do a song with Ed Sheeran. Yeah. I'll pay good all money. The... Right. I don't make that yeah. much here at the station. Yeah, man. all the people. I like all the people. Billy Eilish. I like all them. Man. I listen to all types of music, bro. So, what do you uh-huh. what do you think the biggest misconception of Draco is? I don't know, man. I, people know. just think that I'm like. They think I'm mean, bro. They think I'm like, just like, I'm not even like that. I'm a cool dude, if you know me. But, like, you know, I just tell it like it is, but I don't got no filter. So I like, that's what people think. Like, I'm just like trying to be like, oh, yeah, this, this nigga just fucked up and he don't care about nothing. I'm like, no, bro, it's just, I don't like people that be pump faking. You don't got it, you don't got it. If you're not this type of person, you're not this type of person. If you're not a shooter and you got good grades in school, go to school, bro. Stop, right. don't, you know, like, I don't, I don't like people that be doing that. See, that's actually, that's some role model quality. Draco, that's some role model shit, that's Greedo. Some role model. Hey, Draco, that's Draco, role model quality. that's some role model shit you just accidentally <laughs> said. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> man, but, but look, they're not gonna screen record that shit. Hey, <laughs> so look, uh, what you call it? I just said Greedo because I want to talk about this joint, this mystery album that you're supposed to be doing. I heard that, uh, I heard that, <laughs> I heard that y'all got a well, you're supposed to be cooking up this joint project. Is that real or is that a myth? I mean, he got enough songs for it, so yeah. <laughs> okay, look, yeah. just tell me this, just I tell mean, me this. Yeah, we're gonna do it anyway, so it's not like. It ain't nothing. But I'm saying, is is it is it? I'm not saying it's coming soon or now, but it's coming though, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, it's not a problem for me to knock the songs out. It's just I'm no Greedo sign, so it's whatever they want to do. That's oh, it. okay, you gotcha. Know? I'm not signed, so I do what I want. But you know, other people, you know, got deal. They can't put out music the way they want to put it out. So, you know. And you just said you're not signed. I saw you also say that. You wanted to be stay independent and make all the money. Is that still your? Because I know they come. I know they knocking on your door. Man, they didn't came out. We did some crazy stuff all for the past two days. But it's like I, I see enough money already. Like from this, like unless they just come with some crazy stuff. Like what's the number? I'm about to say, paint the picture. What's the what's, the what's the number, Draco? Six million, seven million advance. I, I'm gonna say no. To that. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right. And what I about five and a half? Masters, I'm not giving none of that up. Hey, what yeah. about five and a half, Draco? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. 
Come what's on, your bro. What's your floor? What's your floor? Four point uh, seven. Huh? What's nah, What's yeah, the What's the not already now because I already I already make too much money. I, so nah. Uh-uh. But they hit uh, you for a four point yeah. nine. Nah, I don't you know. Know. Like, see, it depends though. If they giving me that and they telling me I could keep all my masters, all that, then that's cool. Like whatever, that's straight. But I'm not doing no deals, and y'all want to? No, I'm not doing that. What if they give you? I make too much. They give you ten million, and it's like we we want all your shit. No, because they're gonna make that off of me and, and more. All right, they're gonna make it off my master. I'm not. That's like if I did a one off with somebody, and they're like, "Oh, we got five hundred thousand for a mixtape," and then after that, the breakdown is gonna be eighty twenty. They're gonna have that money within the the couple months. Like, no, bro. Like, Hey Draco, you know what you just did, right? Yeah. You just you just yeah. gave another another financial literacy tip. That's that's another role yeah. model. That's shit, a role model <laughs> shit, right? The role model, Draco, yeah. man. Come on, whether you want. Nah, you know, people did. They just think that you know, because I I do certain things that I'm like dumb or don't pay attention. Mm-hmm. I was always taught just to listen to what people say. If we both talking at the same time, I can't get my point across and hear what you're saying. I like to listen to what people say because people be so full of themselves, like and just think that they could fast talk me or something. I'm like, I be trying to tell people, like, I don't know what they think. Like, I was in solitary confinement for three years, bro. All I had time to do was read books that I didn't really want to read, work out, and listen to fast talkers all day. My neighbor was from the Mexican mafia, bro. Like, I, I didn't seen it all. I didn't hear all, all the cap, anything, bro. It was not nothing that, you know, I just I just listened, bro. What, 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 I mean, what, if you if you can divulge in the information, you don't have to. But mm-hmm. say you've seen it all, kind of heard it all, been around a lot of people, you're really a listener, man. Uh, what what has been a situation that has kind of shocked you as of recently? Like just like, oh shit. Uh, uh, it's a lot of stuff, but I don't know. I'm gonna just Guess six nine. That's what I'm on the thing I'm gonna say because there's a lot of other things, but I'm I'm hold off on that because people feel how they feel about certain other things. What what specifically about that situation? Is it just be how he's been able to 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 function in the culture, or are you saying because of what he did? Oh, I mean, Kyle, man, this nigga has rainbow here. Like you should have known that he was gonna tell. Like, come on, bro. But it ain't even it ain't even that. It's just the principle of like. I seen people like, like literally taking up for the nigga. Like, like what would you would have did in this situation? It's like, bro, come on, bro. It wasn't like you was like, you was just some goody two shoe. You didn't have nothing to do with it. Like, bro, you was a part of this, bro. Like, don't cry now, bro. Nigga, that's you in jail. Hey, it don't work like that. You over here doing all this, making videos, getting paid, whatever, doing all this other shit, putting money, whatever, quote on coke, and I'm hearing, allegedly putting money on people's heads and all this. Now you want to cry, bro? Like, come on, bro. You know, like, you know what you did. Don't, don't cry now. Um, I, didn't, I just didn't understand that. Like, especially being in a hip hop, because this is like, this is not like no, like this is like, you know, like this is this is a whole different world. So I, when I seen that, I'm like, dang, this is what they accept it now. Like this is, this is what's going on. Okay. I've been changed. The, yeah. My homie, my one of my big homies said that, you know, people like that existing within within the culture is really offensive to people like yourself, Bobby Schmurder, different people yeah. who have, who have you know kept it solid throughout the whole course of the thing, and then these people we didn't get like, no praise. We don't get no praise for it. It's a couple of people like like that. That's what I'm saying. Like even with the people like they, now we're going back to the people that don't like. Me. I beat the death penalty, bro. I didn't tell on nobody. I didn't do none of that. Did I get any type of gifts besides some welcome home when I came home? None of that. If you nigga tell on a nigga and get a Netflix special. Like, come on, bro. Like, what? I don't understand this, bro. But that's some whole other stuff. I just uh, even as, even as of right now, there's nobody like that that's reaching out, possibly want to tell your story, documentary style, or just want. I know I got a documentary. If okay. come out. I'm just got waiting. For, yeah, I got. Yeah, I got. A spot. I'm just waiting for uh, this. Uh, like, we got to shoot a few more things to put a couple people in there, and then whatever we gonna shoot it to whatever Sundance, all that to put it on Netflix. Or, or, yeah. Do you know? Do you have a timeline on that? 
on the documentary? I don't know because so much stuff been happening. So when I first did it, it was like, all right, all this was happening. But then, you know, my homie died. So now I'm pretty sure we gotta add all this other stuff to me before. What's it called? Long live, get you be great. Yeah, that legend, man. Hey, let me ask you this, because you just said, I don't, hey, what's that noise? It's, it's messing up the audio. Oh, it's making a noise, yeah. I don't know. Um, what you call it? So let me ask you this. Um, When I was talking to my big homie about what you were just talking about as far as the situation about, you know, like, let's say real niggas holding it down and, and doing what they're supposed to do. Do you feel, do you think you're supposed to get praise for doing what you're supposed no, to do? No, you're not. I mean, you just did, but it's like, like, you're not. You just did what you were supposed to do. That's regular. You're not. I mean, that goes with my song that I made. It's regular. You don't get praised for stuff that you're supposed to already be doing because it's supposed to be normal. But at the end of the day, like, if y'all going to praise somebody, don't praise the snitch. Like, come on, bro. Like, uh, I yeah. feel you. But don't praise nobody, then. Just keep it regular. Like, nobody regular. Talk about everybody. Didn't say Ever, everybody. Yeah. Uh, you said what? No, I feel you. Um, yeah, is, right. And then also, I remember you said you you. <laughs> I remember when you said you saw a soldier boy in when you was in jail too, and he yeah, was in protective custody. Yeah. But yeah. is it, I now I'm not in no street dude, and I've never been to jail, so you got to explain the protective custody thing to me because I don't know how. All right. Gotta... So basically, bro, when you come to jail, you tell them whatever you tell them. Some people want to go to when you're going through processes. Some people want to go the weirdo way out and want to play crazy, all right? That takes longer to get processed. Most people just want to go through. Some people fake like they got medical problems. That takes longer to get housed. Then you got the people who just want to just, oh yeah, they because they ask you, oh yeah, you want to do this, you want to do this. Um, I just go PC, but the only difference is like, it's the same thing. So why would you go hang or tell people that you don't want to be with people when, if you go and like, okay, for instance, we was in high power. So there's regular high power, you know, you got 31, whatever, Abel Road, Denver Road, Charlie Road, whatever, Baker Road. Then you got 31, uh, 33, that's the other side, that's the PC side, child molesters, rapists, uh, celebrities that don't want to walk the line, all that. I'm not like, it's the same exact place. It's just now you on this side. It's not like people can just get at you and just do stuff to you. You want to sell by yourself. So why would you want to go program with these people? Like, I don't, I don't understand that, especially him, why he be calling himself Big Draco and all that. I don't, I don't feel all that. Oh, like, shit, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, yeah I totally I forgot know. about that. And when you, were, you because you know who I am, bro. You know who I am, bro. So it's not like you not, oh, you just came up with the name. No, bro, you know who I am. I got videos, you listen to my music, singing it song for song. And then when I come to jail, that's what you want to say your name is, bro? No. When, no. when, now I'm I, now I'm gonna just play devil's advocate. He said yeah. that the reason why he called himself that is it's because his first his name, name was Dre and something, and yeah, bro, no, no, not buying it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, so when you, where were, where were you when you first heard him say that? Uh, like, I was you? on the streets. This one, I guess, when he was beefing whatever with the Migos or Quavo and them, he was making them songs, and I'm like, okay, whatever. So I had pressed him. I'm like, hey, bro, you probably change your name. He changed it out off his little Twitter thing. Changed it. I ended up, I guess they had raided his house or whatever, found some fake guns or something in his house. Then two, three days later, they find my house and allegedly find some real guns in the house. Wow. Then I go to jail and then I asked and the homie like, hey, you know, he changed his name back again, right? I like, these people are so weird, bro. Like, I, I don't know. Then I seen him in jail. Seen him in jail, he all in the window. Hey, you Draco, the police, because I know all the police, I've been running through jail since I was 12. So I'm looking at him, he like, huh? you know where he at? I'm like, of course I know where he's at, bro. He just started laughing. He like, he wants me to give you this number. I'm like, I don't want that number. I'm straight. I mean, so he reached out to you and got you. Of course, some fan shit. Nah, I fuck with you, whatever. I, Because I used to go down to attorney visit. Every time I went to attorney visit, to talk to my lawyers. He was always right there next to me. But I used to be getting mad because I'm like, bro, I'm in here fighting death penalty and your bitch ass complaining about talking about some, 
oh, they talking about you got 40 more days left and you talking about you can't take it and crying and shit, bro. You think I want to hear that? With me fighting the death penalty, you worried about a 90-day violation, bro. I don't want to hear that, bro. I don't, people get slapped for that type of stuff in jail. Oh, you what? Oh, I, I got a 10-day flash. I've been in here seven days. Oh, uh, how many more days do you think I got? People get, you can't say that type of stuff when people fight in real time and they're like, I just, I don't, I don't respect it, all that fake gangster that. stuff, right? Because I don't even want to be the cool guy. I don't want to be tough. None of that tough guys get banged out. Hard people get hard time. No, don't want to be that. No, they're going to throw, oh, you're tough. They're going to throw the whole book at you, the whole menu. Yeah, but, yeah, you ever heard of McDonald's? There goes a 20 piece. There you go, right there. Um, I feel that. I like I like I'm gonna be honest with you, Draco. I like where your he- where your head is at. Like I like that you're thinking very clearly. I like that you are you know, you very you you're thinking about everything that you say, everything that you do, your moves and everything. Like I, I like that. I like to because it's a lot of people that don't want to see me out here. So any mistake they waiting for, including my detective, he's probably gonna be listening, man. Shout out to Harvey. <laughs> uh, it, 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 hey, you know, up, you know how I know you on some bush. Win this battle. All of my homies from all of my homies know the mm-hmm. know the nigga that be investigating them, like by mm-hmm. name and everything. Know his kids. Oh yeah, I know everybody. Yeah. I, I know everybody. The judge, my judge, Laura Walton. I know the the detective that was on my case, uh, Francis um, Hardman, Richard Biddle, my both my DA, Shannon Cooley. I know the other DA that was on on the case, Phil and Maria. I I know everything about <laughs> everything. Bro. Like I, I I pay attention to everything that's around by me. Oh, by the way, my the, uh, Shannon Cooley, the DA that was on my case for the first trial, she's a judge now. Her daddy was Steve Cooley. Steve Cooley was the one who uh, Jackie Lacey was her apprentice. So all that was going on. So when I was running my mouth on Twitter and all that. That's probably why I got my gag orders and all that because wow. they didn't want people knowing all that. So yeah. Oh, that, crazy. now that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah, ain't that something? So, then my detective, his wife is his wife is a, a, a DA who worked for Jackie Lacey office. The new DA that was on my case, his wife is a police officer, which is a sheriff. Yeah, every yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Bro, hey, look, we are not gonna talk about nothing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave that alone, man. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I like I like you being I like you in the studio, Draco. You know, yeah, exactly. another exactly. thing that again is is exactly. showing you got to be you got to educate yourself uh, around yeah. everything that's happening. I, I love the fact that you you know all the minute details about everything right, because everything. that's very that's very fucking important. You know what I'm saying? And, and there, you should, there shouldn't be a problem if you speaking out on shit like that, but that's it a whole different But it was just a problem. I don't even think they cared about me speaking out. They just didn't want people knowing about that law. That law been in effect for over, they voted that law 20 something years ago. I'm the only black person that they only tried to use it on besides the people in Bakersfield, whatever, the country boy Crips, whatever. And the dude, Brandon Duncan, who was from San Diego or whatever. And, and his judge said that it was unconstitutional and threw it out. My judge said that we couldn't put that in my case because they didn't want the jury being prejudiced. If another judge thought the same thing that it was unconstitutional, what's the difference between me? Y'all trying to charge my rap group as a gang, bro. How did that make sense? What law are we speaking of? <laughs> my case. Gotcha. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I know hey, you know what? Hey, you know what? I, res- <laughs> I respect you, bro. Like, you a smart, you a smart guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want the world to know that because I know I know people try to take advantage of you, fast talk you, think you stupid. Yeah, all that's of that. what they think. <laughs> yeah, um, they think. Real quick, obviously you obviously you got the song going crazy with with Drake. Um, Not true. When 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 like how did that how did that not how did it happen but like what was your reaction when? Like, did you feel like this is supposed to happen or did you kind of trip out like, oh, shit, the homie's tapping in? Like, I mean, because like a lot of people told me when I was in jail, like, they like, man, you don't know how big you are, bro. Like, you probably hear people say this, but like, I'm on the streets right now, so I'm seeing it. They like, whatever you think you're going to be when you get out, bro, you're going to be 20 times more than that, bro. I'm like, whatever, bro. I ain't trying to hear all that, bro. But when I got out, I'm like, dang, every single person that, 
I thought about doing a song, but it hit me up when I got out of jail. It was kind of crazy. How, like, how, how do you stay level-headed with that, though? I don't know. I just realized that this is just music, and it's the music industry, and it's not real. So I can't go in there being a real nigga and expecting, you know, real stuff back in a fake industry. Now, that'll be done. So I just deal with it, play the part, whatever it is, what it is. So I got to, nah, because... It's a lot of people that I was like looking at the top message, like, damn, then I just hit you up in here telling you to do something. I'm like, all right, whatever. I guess you didn't see it. Oh, I don't yeah. worry about it. Oh. <laughs> and now, it is what it is, though. The world, we 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 suffered that loss. We you know uh, of Nip Hustle passing away, man. What what were you doing? What was going through your mind? What 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 was happening when when and bro passed? I wasn't. In, um... It's when I was out in the side to the farm. So I was just in my cell. Usually I I didn't even wake up like in jail. I didn't wake up till like four o'clock in the afternoon because there's nothing to do. I'm in a cell with myself. They don't just pop the cells up. And so I'm, I see it on the TV, but they just saying somebody got shot. But then I'm listening to the radio. Then they saying something different. So then I see it on the news. I'm like, dang, that's crazy. So then after that, I just told myself like, I'm not finna be in the hood hanging around and doing all that no more because that was the only person that I seen doing that or going back to the hood and doing all that and then he got killed. So it's like, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not, I ain't doing that enough, nah. That I lost all hope for that. Learn learn from the mistakes of others. Yeah. Draco, if, there, if, if music wasn't, wasn't the thing, man, or did you have any 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 aspirations or dreams prior to this rap shit, this music, or did you already know? Nope, I just always wanted the money. So I um, figured out I knew how to rap. If I knew how to do like other certain stuff or learn how to do other stuff, then that's what I'm gonna do. But right then and there, they told me I, I could rap. I'm like, all right, I didn't take people seriously. And then it turns out I really could rap. So that's what I did. I mean. My my story is crazy, so I didn't, it's not like I, every time I dropped a mixtape, I went to jail or something, so I was like, it ain't, that's probably what kept me so relevant, too, because it was always like a free Draco movement or something, so it was like, it, it kind of kept me alive a little bit. It was always like it's still people tell me free Drake. I'm like, bro, I'm on the street. I'm home. <laughs> don't put me back in the box. Yeah, don't 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 do that, bro. Like you know, but yeah. That, they kind of like, I don't know, that's probably why I'm just how hey, I am right now. Super random, but you know, this this whole, um, I don't know if you're familiar with like the Tiny Desk series, you know, where they do live instrumentation and shit like that. Would you be open to something like that? You know, I know the performances are kind of like a yeah. questionable thing as of right now, but would you be down to do something like, like a virtual series, a virtual concert or something like that with live instrumentation? Yeah, yeah, it's just a fan, yeah, yeah. I need to do something soon because I've been trying to hold off on it. I'm not doing show stuff. I've been getting way too many offers, but I'm just like, I don't want to do nothing that's not worth it or like, because this will be my first show. I, I want people to be there, a lot of people. I really want to see like, like, because they kept telling me before this COVID, they like, man, you don't know, bro. You're going to be selling out so many shows. I'm like, well, I want to see what's the biggest venue I can sell out then. I want to see where it's really at, like, where my fans really at. So. But then it's happening, so uh, that's usually yeah. the question that we ask too, man. The year can't end without Draco doing what? what is it safe to say, you know, packing out a show, or is this something else that's on your list? Yeah. Oh, it can't even. I gotta, I gotta buy my mama a house. As you should. Yeah. Um, Big house. model shit right there, Draco. Yeah. <laughs> that's all. That's the only thing I've been debating because I've been thinking. I was gonna get her house before mine. So, um, I think make sure that none of my homies ever had to want for nothing and be in a position to do whatever they want. Same as me and my family, the ones that I talked to. Is there anybody that tapped in with you while you was in jail that surprised you? <laughs> Dennis Rodman. Dennis <laughs> Rodman. <laughs> Get the yeah. fuck out of here. What yeah. happened? Hey, I'm not gonna lie, that's random. Nah, he just like because I was watching the 30 30 stuff in jail, and then I got like by a call 
And I think he copied on one of our pictures too, but my lawyer, like, I don't think this is a real page. Like, I don't think this this is Dennis Rodman. Then he clicked on it. He was like, oh, man, it's Dennis Rodman. Then he posted free me and stuff. I was like, oh, yeah, that's a swiss right here. That's like, crazy. Yeah. Have you talked to you him? You can look right now. He follows me. <laughs> Have you talked to him? I ain't hit him up yet. I think I hit him up like a couple of days. I'm like, yeah, I got to put you on my video. Because I wrote a song called Dennis Rodman in jail anyway. <laughs> bro that's so random like that's is, that's bro. random that's as like, fuck yeah that's what i said i was like and it's um he's wild too so i was like that's kind of crazy hey just don't go to korea with him you know what i'm saying i don't no, know, you know why you, know, was, no you was down he was going to korea fucking with that man up there oh yeah man i heard i heard <laughs> You better be cool with him for they bombs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, gotta be Gotta be careful. <laughs> hey, so we, we do this thing. We do this thing called curbside confessions. Right, goes mm-hmm. curbside confessions. You have any 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 stories from you know delivery people that 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 handle your food or like Postmates, Uber Eats, Postmates, Eat. Uber Eats, any of that? Any any crazy stories? Hmm. No, I don't got no crazy stories because all my stories is like they don't bring the food up and just leave with it. Like, I was just, and still charge me. Like, crazy. I don't have no yeah, crazy anybody, stories. Anybody eating your food, which is good. I believe mean, yeah. a lot of stories of people like the, the, the Postmates driver <laughs> eating food and shit like that. So none of that. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't even, I don't know. I'll be ordering it other people's names anyway, so I don't need nobody seeing my name talking about small Draco. I might as well just spit in this right here. No. <laughs> what about like an Uber or a Lyft? Any any wild stories in a in, in a man? He riding ride around in black SUVs and shit. He not driving. He not taking the Uber. Yeah. <laughs> well, nigga, I ain't driving Uber my- in a long time. Got it. All right. Hey man. Yeah. Now look, uh, Draco. I definitely. I definitely um, am glad to see you, you know, I, 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 I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't know which version of Draco I was gonna get. You cool, calm and collected, but when you came out and you did the uh, shit with Adam, you had, bro, you had uh, some shit to get off your chest. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. so now it nah, seems like you had I some just good been, food, I'm, you, know, I've been home you got a massage. A I didn't have no time to like, you know, say nothing to nobody. Like, so I had to get it out there. Like, I just, I let everybody just know, basically, like, we can keep it cool, but remember, I know you people, so don't do this for me. I really know know y'all. Like, I really know you people, so don't do this for me. I'm going to be cool, but I just think people should know some things before they get to thinking stuff about people that's not true and thinking people are, are these type of people when they're not. They're not. I, I, really, I really love the space that you're in. I respect I respect where you're coming from, and I like that. I like that you didn't let, you never let, never let a hard time humble you. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Never let nobody do none of that. Like that's what I'm saying. You can look at me like, there's people that you know I was messing around with. A lot of people thought I'd never get to where I was at. I, I didn't had all type of stuff. People try to you know tell people not to mess with me and all type of stuff. And look, look now. Um, I got the song with Drake. <laughs> ain't that something? Uh, God don't like that, man. All that hating, it ain't gonna get you nowhere. Like, negative energy. Man, that's just crazy. But yeah, man. I'm just chilling, man. What, what, what part of you was like, yo, I can't wait till these niggas hear this shit. Yeah. <laughs> I got the song with Drake, nigga. I can't wait for these niggas to hear this shit. Yeah. <laughs> I got a chip on my I was shoulder. waiting because like, I knew niggas was going to be like, but my brother and they like, bro, I don't think you understand, nigga. Like, nigga, you got a song with Drake, bro. Like, like niggas been working a whole nigga career, nigga, and, and no, and it never happened, bro. Like, right. I'm like, yeah, I guess that is kind of still some, uh, he like, you don't understand, bro. You only been out there. And this was like the first Fresh. week I was out of jail. Fresh. I've yeah. been had the song. Wow. So I, he like, bro, you just got out, bro. You got a song with Drake, bro. You only been out a week, bro. Like, and then catch up. He used to be telling me, like, yeah, they can't take it. That's why I, I was like, all right, I'm going to start chilling a little bit. Because he like, I don't understand. You, uh, you don't understand how much you like just fucking him right now, bro. Like, you don't understand. Like, you you don't understand. Like, they, they hot. They mad. I'm like, yeah, maybe. Then I got 
start sitting back. I'm like, yeah, I probably need to chill because these people, I don't know, they get to doing all type of crazy stuff. Hey, you know what um, song? Sorry, uh, you know what song I like too is the Don Tolliver shit. Oh yeah, I fuck, I fuck yeah. with that shit. The um, yeah. did, was he, was he, did he like, was he one of the people that tapped in? Like, yeah, he tapped in because he he wanted me to uh get on his album. He had sent me some uh, what's it called? He sent me a song. So I'm like, oh, I got it. Uh, it's crazy because I I made a song called Don Tyler. I'm like, it's spelled different though. But he like, oh, you gotta let me get on that. And I sent it to him. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. what's up. For hey, sure. Man, I'm happy for you, bro. I'm not one of them people who 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 are, who are uh, upset that you are doing your shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I I, 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 so, I appreciate that. <laughs> he said, I hope so, man. Bro, and check, in, <laughs> check in with your with your uh. With your people, make sure your you know your probation and all that is straight. Yeah, man. I don't even gotta check in, so I'm cool. <laughs> oh, for real. Yeah, are you? I how long it. are you on probation? Five years. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, That's stay out the way, bro. Stay yeah, out the man. way. I gotta stay out the way. Free my homies. Free kills. Free males. Free all them people, man. Free them. <laughs> you can't be free riding. Before we check out, man, can, can you talk? You, you mentioned them early, man. But can you, can you talk about the memory? What you want people to know uh, about Catchy, you know, and his memory and the folks that you know shine some light on him, man. Rest in peace. Oh yeah, that was just that was that, that was the homie. I grew up with him since we was kids, and you know he got he still got he got a lot of music. He got a lot of music, and we're gonna keep it going. But see, I was just I had to redact what I said when I said I was gonna chill out. Because he would want me to keep going and keep up with you. I'm, I'm, I'm not chilling out no more. I'm trying to chill out. <laughs> no oh, you just said that shit like five minutes ago. <laughs> said, nah, I tried. Yeah, I know. I, I had to think about it. I mean, I had to think about it right now. Yeah, nice. Nah. Yeah. Long <laughs> little homie, man. Now, nah, we appreciate yeah, you liking it, really bro. Great. And- and, and having this conversation, looking forward to more things happening and, and shit yes. open up, open up. You can come to the studio and we do it in person, man. But, you know, keep going up, bro. We, we, we yeah, for sure. I appreciate it, right. y'all. Tom Grown Radio, Chuck Dizzle, DJ Head, Draco. Okay. Good luck. You know the truth. Yep. Mm-hmm.